Hey there, curious minds. Ready to unlock the secrets of our amazing world? Let's get started. Why can an astronaut lift heavy things in space, but it's so hard on Earth? Let's investigate the amazing secret of mass. Why is it easy to jump on the moon, but hard on Earth? To solve this mystery, let's find out what everything is made of. Everything you see is made of matter, and the matter is made of tiny building blocks called atoms. Now, some things have more matter packed into them than others, and how much matter is inside an object is called its mass. Think of mass as the total count of all the atoms inside something. The more atoms, the more mass it has. And here's the most important secret. An object's mass never, ever changes, no matter where it is in the universe. So what changes? A force called gravity. It's an invisible pull between all matter, and it's pulling on you right now. Weight is simply the measure of how hard gravity pulls on your mass. All of the stuff that makes you, you. So that's the big difference. Mass is how much stuff is in you. Weight is how hard gravity is pulling on your stuff. Now, imagine you're an astronaut on the moon. The moon is much smaller than Earth, so its force of gravity is much weaker. The bowling ball's mass is unchanged. It has the same number of atoms. But with the moon's weaker gravity, its weight is much, much lower. That's why you can bounce so high on the moon. Your mass is the same, but you weigh so much less, making it super easy to jump. And in deep space, with almost no gravity, you'd be weightless. You'd still have all your mass, but a scale would read zero. Here's an easy way to remember. The number of Lego bricks in your model is its mass. How hard it pushes down on a scale is its weight. So while your weight can change, your mass stays the same everywhere in the universe. And that's the stuff that truly matters. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe to Tender Intellects for more such fun videos.